question. It says, at last year's Bogleheads conference, you predicted that over the next 10 years, stocks gross return would be 4%, bonds would be 2.6%. Your slide presentation, pages 49 to 52, which only Lady Geek could re remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's one year later, are you still on track? Well, no, I'm not on track, uh, let me be honest. I mean, I'm not sure what that means, one year into a 10-year forecast, uh, but it means that returns will be much lower than they have been. But I, I want to emphasize this. I have never thought or said that this uh, theory of uh, the sources of returns, stock returns come from dividend yields, stock returns come from earnings growth, and we add those two together, and that gives you investment return, and then stock returns get enhanced or reduced by valuation changes. If the PE goes from 20 to 30, you get another 7% a year. If it goes from 20 to 10, you lose a 7% a year over the next decade. And uh, those things are not really predictable. Uh, so we, we rely on history. I do. I think it's 10 years for one and 30 years for the, uh, for the PE. And uh, so when I say, as I do this year, 4% and 3%, before costs are deducted, um, I say, if you don't like my prediction, make your own. Uh, and just think about how easy that is. Uh, the dividend yield is 2%. You can't change that, and I can't change that. The earnings growth, I'm using 4, and you can say it's going to be 8. I don't think you're going to be right, but you're entitled to say that. So all of a sudden, you're in, at 10, 8 and 2. And you say, I think the valuations are going to go from 25 times earnings to 30, and that's going to take the 10 to, let's say, 12. Just don't give me the 12 without telling me the components. There's a discipline here. When someone says, I think the market's going to do 10% a year, just tell me, please, where it comes from. And uh, right now, we are, uh, my predictions are not looking very good. Uh, not predictions, really, but reasonable expectations. And uh, you know, I'd, I'd much rather... I guess just constitutionally, uh, be on the low side than the high side, but the math is the math. Now, I could have said I expect more earnings growth, and I probably would probably have been wise to have put 7% um, earnings growth instead of 6 I'm sorry, 6% instead, instead of 4 or 5%, but we'll see. There's a lot of time to go, and happily with this 10-year forecast, I won't be around to know whether it's right or wrong or not. <laughs> Well, we hope you are, Jack. <laughs> Not too much.